These go together with a consent, uh, concentric vent as well as a dual uh, parallel vent system. And you can see these, they've come a long way on those gaskets. They used to have a problem with cross contamination. Uh, not this particular boiler, but the boilers on the market. So and they do send you this um, uh, lubricant when you're putting the vent system together. You're supposed to use that so it doesn't roll the gaskets and create an exhaust leak that goes into the intake air because this is intake air and this is the exhaust. So if you're getting exhaust in your intake air, you get what you call cross contamination, which is not a good thing with these mod cons. So anyway, this is one of the better concentric vent systems on the market. That's the, uh, right there, we'll take care of your water hammer. You can see we got it on the domestic side. That's the uh, uh, three-way valve so we can flush the plate heat exchanger that's in here. Uh, you can isolate the domestic and run a, this is the cold water, we'll have another hot water here. So you can run vinegar through the plate heat exchanger and clean out the inside of the coil. That's the on position, that's the off. about the Khalifi mixing valves it gives you this nice little pressure uh, temperature gauge so you can see um, it tells you what you're getting to your faucet so if you're 120 degree water going to your sinks you can monitor it right here it's kind of nice of course you still have to test it you know at the sink after the installation but it's a good little reference but uh, really good product Khalifi so I was saying with these um, three-way valves, you can purge your, uh, you can shut it off here and here, like that. And tap and tap, and then you can flush vinegar through your heat exchanger. 
and uh, keep the coil uh, the inside of the plate heat exchanger clean so your mineral deposits and all that stuff doesn't build up and cut down on the uh, efficiency and um, this boiler will actually throw a code if uh, it's not if the output hot water domestic hot water output isn't what it's supposed to be it'll throw a code so that'll uh, avoid all that. That's the spiral vent air elimination system which is my favorite to be honest with you. I've, in 30 years I think I've only had to rebuild two of those and to accompany that is the uh, spiral vent dirt trap which uh, as your return water comes back from the zones this catches any debris dirt uh, impurities whatever and then once a year you drain it out but that keeps those impurities from going into the boiler and getting into your uh, system so that is a uh, kind of a must-have on modcon i think personally i'd never install one without one and as you can see let me get you our, our primary secondary down there with our uh, closely spaced tees and if you know primary secondary you know Basically, it's four times uh, the diameter of the pipe. In this case, it's four inches. And then they want at least 12 inches or 10 times the diameter of the pipe to the first elbow. I go 12 inches, like, if possible, which is what you're supposed to do. So, on primary, secondary. And that's our drain. Uh, TNP gauge down there. Right there. But anyway, the idea of primary and secondary, as you know, probably is so you get your hydraulic separation. Um, these units used to have the low, well, you can still get a low loss header, but you can make your own primary and secondary just as easy. And actually, I like it because it takes up less room. So anyway, back to work. As far as the electrical for this boiler, the only thing that ever comes into this is a line, you know, your 110 feeding it. Um, outdoor sensor, which uh, senses the outdoor temperature and compensates for the amount of heat that it'll put out. And TT, which is, you know, obviously coming off the end switch. Which is operated by your thermostats every time it's called for heat. The end switch closes, calls in TT, and the boiler says, All right, I gotta make heat. So, you know, there's no electricity here, so I'm, I'm, it's not even, as you can see, uh, it's not even hooked to the panel, so this is all dead wiring. So, just so you know, and that's your end switch there, it goes to your TT in the boiler. And there was a call from a room thermostat, it activates the circulator. And then at the same time closes uh, this circuit here, which calls in TT and uh, activates the boiler to start. Quick rundown, get our primary secondary, closely spaced T's for our hydraulic separation. The unit does have an internal pump which runs the primary loop and the secondary is controlled by those pumps that are circulated over there. Get a spiral vent air separator, spiral vent dirt trap which is strongly, strongly recommended. Get a Khalifi pressure 
water pressure feed and backflow preventer. The leafy mixing valve with a nice convenient gauge. We've got our three-way valves for flushing the plate heat exchanger. Some um, a uh, little water hammer thermotrol uh, device to prevent water hammer, which they strongly suggest on these mod cons or anything uh, instantaneous. And we got our go-to old-school Takeo switching relay. Condensate pump for the uh, condensate. Um, I don't have my acid neutralizer put in yet, but that's going right there. So that'll get rid of the condensate. And we'll wrap it up.